Welcome to GDPG, where we uh, play games and develop them. Right? That, that, that's good. Not on this show. Nah, this good. We Although we've been, them. we're we're gonna be starting another yeah. channel for like a, a game dev vlog. Vlog, soon, so. yes. And so, so look out for that. So hey, welcome to Game Dev Play Games. We're, today we're playing Dimitrios. 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 The big. I don't know what the adventure. Yeah, I don't know what the fr this this game was made by Cowcat Studios, which is a French. Yeah, developer. I think it's a one-man studio. Yeah, Fabri uh, Breton Fabrice. Um, I'm glad you remember that. Yeah, I made I, the I'm game. Bad with names. Um, at least that's what the website told me. <laughs> I don't think the, the press lie. kit. Yeah, I don't think the press <laughs> kit would want to lie about who made the game. So this game is a basically a point-and-click adventure. Mm -hmm. um, I think really the thing that kind of sets it apart from others is kind of its humorous and cynical tone. Yeah, right. Um, it's it's a little weird. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm imagining. It's fun. It's uh, fun, but yeah, it's no, weird. I mean, I'm ready to start. I mean, I, like, I just like this opening screen here. It's very... Uh, we got this weird chicken guy looking yeah, at us. Yeah, it's just like, the... he looks like a little... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's you're, you're playing this one, so let's yeah, jump so let's into this. Started. Okay, uh, so new game? New game, yeah. So I, I, I've i played... <gasps> this will override your automatic save? No. Wow. Yeah, oh, okay. man, we're going into it, guys. Okay, so you're going to be... Reading, my name is Bjorn. Yeah, Bjorn. -er. Oh yes, Bjorn Thonin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit uh, drunk currently. Anyway, on that fateful night, I got a phone call. <sighs> uh, hello, Mr. Thonin. Uh, yeah, that's me, but who- I need to warn you. You're in grave danger. What the? Oh, I get it. Oh, God, praying. Ah, nice. No, wait, don't ha <sighs> If only I had known this phone call would change my life forever. <laughs> Later that night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Shit! <laughs> uh, a noise. Someone in my apartment. Oh, uh, I did that first thing that came to mind. Took a flashlight and moved toward the living room. <laughs> Good. Great. There seemed to be nothing, but then... Bam! Oh, I fell flat on the floor. <laughs> Yep, no, nope. that sets the tone for the game right away. <laughs> I woke up suddenly. Oh, that sound. The phone. I ran up to pick it up. Uh, hello? Good. Why are you still home? Uh, Tom, I uh, had some trouble. Don't tell me you forgot we were fishing today. Come here at once. Uh, sorry, I don't think I'll come. I have some important matters to attend to. Knowing you, I guess you won't change your mind. All right, then. Just come for dinner this evening. You can tell me then. I don't know why. All right, I'll do my best. <laughs> like, Tom is like, see ya. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, oh, I'm yeah. super cool. Oh, uh, my headers. What happened already? I think someone was in my apartment. He must have knocked me out. Poor pointing to the police. I'd better check and see if anything's missing. Everything. <laughs> Where are my pants? I accidentally the whole thing. Chapter one. Perish. Perish Shmarish. 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 Oh, man. Okay, Blocky. so this, I mean, now we're actually in the game. So basically the way that the game works is if you right click. Yep. Show you right click. Go ahead and do that. No it item. displays your inventory. So right now you have nothing. Ah, oh, that's cool. Left click is basically how you interact how you with interact. the environment. Um, there's some other mechanics that come into play later, which you'll see if you click that house icon. Um, ah, so that's the save feature. We'll just save right now. We're at it. <laughs> oh, I guess I should have oh, saved man. my other playthrough in another, another slot, but eh. oh, too late now. Um, but if you notice, there's go back into the home menu. Home menu. See those cookies? Cookies. That's your hint system. Oh. So basically, what? look. See that statue in the middle of the room? Uh. <laughs> point. Point a little bit lower at the carpet. See that little thing sticking oh, out yeah, under the rug? Yeah. That's Click a cookie. That. Oh, there's a cookie here. Weird. I can't remember the last time I bought cookies. Oh, well. There you oh. go. 
That's, how, that's how you find cookies. I wonder what I could do with that. <laughs> I'd eat it. So basically, there's three cookies in each screen. I don't know if a screen means the image you're looking at, or if or it means, if it means like just the, the room. Whole room. That's fair. Well, let's see. What's that? Bag of chips. I lost that bag of the crisps last month. Crunch, crunch. Mm, still good. <laughs> Delicious. There's an achievement if you eat, I think, about 10 just like things of garbage yeah, on the floor. One of my boots. My favorite's for winter. They really keep your feet warm. I wonder where the other one is. <laughs> Dude, you should like know what's going on here. Piero de la Francesca. It could mean Stone of France or maybe French fries. <laughs> Good. So we're just looking for stuff, right? Yeah, well, right now we're looking to yeah, see if we're missing anything. Great. Not that so I'll be wearing them. It's 100 degrees outside. Fahrenheit. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so there is basically, there's dialogue with just about anything that you can click. I, yeah. I think everything you can click. So we don't, really. we don't read through all of it. Um, uh, but go ahead and do me a favor. Yeah. Go ahead and click that power outlet. Yeah, well, I have the, all right, I got a can. Oh, best yeah. before October 98. Well, they say it's best to eat it before that date. Not required. I Could don't it... know if I've used that yet. Power and I'm in chapter 3. Power. Well, it's a power socket. Although this makes me think. I've always wondered what it really does if you put your fingers in the... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, that, that's totally a legend. And I'm going to prove it. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? I died on the first screen. <laughs> oh, So man. this is what death is like in this oh, game. Oh, that's so good. But uh, go ahead and click continue. continue. It brings you back exactly where you left off. So death is, is very low consequence, yeah. which I do really like in this game because yeah. it, it allows us to kind of like feed our curiosity. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. That's goofy. That's really <laughs> fun. Oh, hello, goodbye. Look at that. How weird. That's my doormate. Yes, I said doormate because he's my best mate when I come back drunk and uh, never mind. Okay, so go ahead and go into the other room. Uh, I look at the... What? Notice that thing that we saw on the title screen? Yeah, I got this statue a few months ago. I don't know what exactly that bird is supposed to represent, but it looked cool. Hey, wait a minute. There was a tablet on it earlier. But clearly because it her it fell when I moved the statue last week. But now I put it back, it was a tablet chipped like a lightning bolt. It's gone, and I don't see it anywhere else in here. So the thief must have taken it, but why? I better tell the police about this. Ooh, look at the drawings. See drawings, I won't read through all this. Yeah, I the way I, I figure it is we don't have to read all the text for all the little no. things. We can read the the dialogue for any of the like the big more items. relevant things. Um, because otherwise we're not really going to make any progress, and yeah. I think we're only going to play this for about maybe 20 minutes or yeah, so. Absolute bags. I've got all kinds of doorknobs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no intention ever touch the bear. Oh, look at that little teddy bear. <laughs> so that's the important thing: is you found that the tablet was stolen. Yeah, them are cookies. Damn it! You want to mousey? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Oh, no one cares. All right, fine. I'll leave this room. Yeah, that's all we had. I think that's all we have in this room that we need. I just, just the <laughs> Mano Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. Great. How oh, wait. Go back. On. There was one thing we need. Look, see that saber? Yeah, we need that just flashlight. just about to look at it. Well, not the saber. We need oh. the flashlight. Why can't... Why can't I see the saber? I mean, I guess you could... Finding the batteries for that flashlight took me way longer than it should have. So this this game, much like every other point-and-click adventure I think I've ever really played, falls prey to um, yeah. a lot of the same issues of like, what do I do? And and that's why the hint system is, is really nice, because if you're stuck, you can go through the hints and be like, okay, so I'm missing this thing. Um, yeah. My issue with the hint system in this game, which if we get enough cookies, we can kind of see, it it kind of it looks at the current objective. So like right now, it's just finding all the things that are missing from the apartment, and uh, it goes through each step, even if you've already accomplished yeah. some of them. So it's like, yes, I know I need a flashlight. I already have it. I need to know where the batteries, batteries are. are. Tell me where they are. Yeah. 
Well, I guess they're not in here. Maybe they're somewhere in here. Go, go to the closet. Uh huh. I will closet. And then go to that shirt pocket. <sighs> really? <laughs> yeah, that one's a little bit more hidden. Yeah. Uh, look at me, Bjorn is such a handsome dude. <laughs> Batteries in here? Um, we need, yes. A vibrating Eiffel Tower. Yup. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, I just happened to click on the right thing. Man, see, and I'm like, I would have never have thought that that Eiffel Tower was a vibrating thing of all things. Yeah, that's so weird. I, don't I mean, I guess, to be fair, this is like the sex drawer. Yeah, this is the sex drawer. Yeah, this, that's... <laughs> we will need those handcuffs later. Really? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so now put the batteries in the flashlight. Oh, you have to actually, uh, oh, items, right? So, okay, just, oh, cool. Yep. At least that's simple. I like mm -hmm. that. You know, I'm glad you don't have to, like... And go ahead and pull out that flashlight and shine it on the box. Now rummage through that mess. This is a pipe Awesome, here's a flashlight. I need... Oh, let's just put that back. Ah, I found something interesting. Small piece. Oh, interesting. By the way, what does this key open? I guess that's everything in here that's like... Yes, I think that's everything that matters in here. There's a cookie on top of that curtain, though. What? Oh, <laughs> what? How did you see that? It's there. A lot of them are really, really hard to see. Uh, that's actually kind of cool that they make them hard to see. At least they don't make them super simple. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're, you're earning oh, these gotcha. hints. That was a calculator. That, that was indeed a calculator. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. We're done with that room. So see that little uh, lock cabinet? Let's see a little power look up. Put it back yeah, in there. Put, put, uh, put the key in there. Lock cabinet up here. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that little, little, little lock door. It's the only door with a lock, so I can keep some cash in there. Now the question is, where's the... Hmm. I should have just done this. I should have just done that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Finally, some money. Got some cash. What's that? Uh, 575 euros? I thought I had more left. And me without my credit card. Great. <laughs> uh, oh, that's what time it is. My clock works. Like clockwork. Or not. I think there's a DVD just a below the TV that you'll need to. Oh, really? I'll go back in there. So, actually, let's go back in there right now. You'll get a kick out of this. Oh, I bought this DVD from Tom. Snow White and the Three Little Pigs. I love cartoon movies. It reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> oh my god. Sexy oh. from Sexy Max films. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I love how like <sighs> Oh, one disc non-special DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Bjorn is, is like on the bag. surprisingly sometimes. innocent sometimes. <gasps> That's pretty good. We already opened this then. I am. Yeah. yeah, I think. Can you I put the DVD the in stuff. there? Although, click that. See that like No, I don't think so. Oh, I didn't try what? this. Hey, stop it. Don't you hear a spirit an hour later? Wow, that's what I call a modernized remake. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, how do I... Just right... Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, no. Yeah. That's... <laughs> well, look what we found. Uh, yeah. At least they didn't show it. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, oh, I guess if I bring out if I bring out my flashlight, what? Not panties. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I I don't think you. Know. Oh, you, oh, so it'll only work. I see. Yeah, when you're using it on something you need. Uh, I don't think there's anything in there that you need. <laughs> Apple core. The monster goes for the on a bag of cat food. Of course. Oh, I'm sure there's something here that we need. Blush. My blush. Oops. Oops. No slip of the tongue. <laughs> I like that he kind of breaks the fourth wall a little bit too. Yeah. Like, with this coconut like, flavored deodorant, the chop will destroy your fill. That, that's also something we're going to need later. Look, oh, okay. It's I don't know if we're going to get that far, but. Eau de toilet. Some more that took from a toilet after this would pee. That would just find the name anyway on the smell. I guess nothing I need from here, huh? Go, go to the right. Do you right. can actually. He has a huge bathroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a cookie in that slipper, by the way. Oh my gosh, yeah, there is. Yeah. 
as he eats the cookies too, he kind of like pukes a little bit. <laughs> like, uh, but it's still a cookie, I guess. Oh, it's just a can of white paint. That's so the the interesting thing about this game is I feel like you get a lot of longevity oh. out of like God. Oh yeah, out of reading all the lines. Yeah, there's a oh, lot yeah. to explore. It's one of those things where it's just like, all right, we're just we can look at everything, but that also. Especially on a show like this, can become a problem because you're like, I want to look at everything, but I should. Well, shouldn't. right, yeah. You you can uh, use that toilet though if you really want. Yeah. Is that a bidet? I wonder if that's. Oh, what I'm that not thing gonna is. use the toilet. I'm gonna die if I use the toilet. Go, go ahead and use it. Oh my god. I wonder if anything happens if you don't use it. Actually, very much as you would expect from a game that has the character fart as soon yeah. as he gets knocked out. That shouldn't be over there. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Oh, that's not good. Just come wildly from the toilet. Well, I hope that's water. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Great. But reeks. Aren't cats supposed to clean themselves? Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even realize that there was a uh, cookie. So it must be in each room because we found. We found. Oh no. Well. We yeah. We found at least four cookies now. I think. Yeah, I found four. Who gives a crap about that? Toilet paper. Uh, supposedly bleach tablets. I never want to open it though. Blessed child protection. <laughs> I think there's everything in here though. There is one thing. See that thing sticking out of the garbage can? Click that. Weird paper. Weird paper. Bill of Sale. Wait. The statue. Oh, I remember now. This is an invoice for when I bought that weird bird statue. Why that thief steal the tablet from it? So I, I, I actually really like this. Even though it's really obvious kind of what you need to do. <laughs> Um, I, I guess partially obvious, but instead of just like looking at the paper and yeah, and really just getting all the information you need, it actually lets you explore this bill of sale and kind of click yeah. all the components of it. That's, that's I, super cool. I think that's that's it's not something that I see in a lot of like point and click adventures, or at least any kind of like yeah. solve this mystery kind of thing. Absolutely, this is kind of super cool. So there are two things you need on this. Uh, I probably need the... You need the address, address. of the seller. I thought I got the address. Oh, I just forgot to click it. Here, my friend, where is that? Probably some little village lost in the countryside. So does it automatically write it down if I click on it or like... Yep. And then you need the phone number. I think I already copied his phone number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a, a quick second to, to reset our camera. And yes, then we'll be right back. Be back. Click that mirror over there. Oh, this one. Looking, Looking good. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. oh. <laughs> oh yeah, he does loop uh or have like some variety of text <laughs> that's too. That's pretty awesome. See that little shelf all the way to the left on the wall? Oh, this right here, yeah. Click that that's a bunch. Cool. Oh, that's I that on, once. on the shelf itself or just on the items? Uh the withered flower? That plant looks like a zombie. Maybe I should water it more Maybe often. Maybe a string. There it is. Do it again. Wow, Do I should really stop touching it now. Do it again. Yeah. Ah! And there goes the beautiful pottery Auntie gave me. What a shame. Except not. Hey, what's that? A few fun fair coins from last year? Cool. So this is going to happen in chapter two, but... Uh, so could you leave this? Could you actually not go with that stuff then? Or would it not let you... Well, the fun fair coins don't matter. You don't oh. actually need those. Um, so not everything is, is required, which is actually kind of nice. I guess we can say we're back. We're back, yeah. by the way. We're um, back. We're back from outer space. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I guess it's kind of nice that not everything's required. I think most things are required. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think really the Funfair coins are the only things that I've seen so far that aren't really required. I guess there's some prizes at the, the fair that you, you don't need. So we can, I think we can leave at this we're point. Good. If we're missing anything, we can always come back. That's oh, kind of the other I benefit is... the trash bag. The burglar must have stepped on it. It's <laughs> just, we're kind of deep trips over trash bags. Hello, Bjorn. Pardon me, but do you hear that all oh, that racket last night? I don't know why she's like kind racket. of German. What racket? It sounded like an argument in the hall. Don't tell me you didn't hear it. It woke me up in the middle of the night. Well, not really. I'm a heavy sleeper, you know. Talk about the argument. Can you tell me anything more about what happened last night? Well, 
It was two men, judging from their voices. And? Oh, and oh! One had a deep voice with a foreign accent. What about the other voice? Let me think. It was a rather high-pitched, and that's pretty much all I can remember. I like yours. Oh, man. Uh, say, Sandra, what do you do for a living? Watermelon seller or maybe a barbecue cleaner? <laughs> what kind of weird jobs to jump to? <laughs> Yohan, I'm a nurse. My job forced me to move to Paris. To Paris. Is it more of a document? What are you talking about? Er, I did hear them, but I couldn't really understand. They were probably speaking a different language. Chinese or Arabic, maybe. Or maybe she was just too far from them. What's more likely? <laughs> what a douche. Well then. Oh, before I forget, while you're here, can you lend me that book you told me about? Book? Yes, the cookbook. Oh, right, yeah, as soon as I get it, I'll bring it to you. All right, see you later. So this, this, I, I guess I could have pointed this out earlier, but the book that we, we can go give her the book right now, um, but it's in your bedroom. Oh, and this book, we could have looked at it earlier and we wouldn't have picked it up. Oh, so there's a bunch of things here. Nope. <sighs> nice precision you got. Yep. But, uh, so not everything, in, in contrast to a lot of other point and click adventures, not everything is automatically available for you to grab. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, obviously you're picking up things like scissors and flashlights when it's like, I have no you idea have no what reason. they're for. Yeah. But, but I, I think it is kind of cool that they had the, the design of like being like, you can't get some things until you have context for it. Which is cool. Which is cool. It's like, now those books are important. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll have to just give a little knock do on it. I should probably, uh, doorbell. I think she kind of interested that they make you like. So you have that book I'm looking for? Oh, I can talk about herself more. Now I'm talking about you. Besides that, how are you getting on in your new life? It's truly different from the countryside here. Making friends is a lot harder. People just don't have the same attitudes. I wouldn't mind helping you integrate into the city. Although the best person for that would be Fernand. Fernande? Fernande? Fernande. Well, Our first floor janitor. Well, with, within a week, you'll make so many friends that you only want one thing. To go back to the farmland. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Are you are you being ironic? Do you have something against rural 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 people? I sorry, I word. misspoke. I only mean that I'd rather smell pollution than cow dung. What? I think I've heard enough. Well, that was... Goodbye, Mr. Thonin. Whoops, me went a little too far. No problem. I was gonna calm down a while. Oh, can I not give her the thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'm still here. You again? Uh, uh, yeah, I wanted to apologize about it earlier. Oh, that's okay. After all, you're still the only person in this city willing to talk to me. Oh, uh, that's sad. <laughs> all right, let's give her the cookbook. As promised, here's your cooking Bible. Sorry for the delay. To make up for it, you can keep it. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. With this, I'll finally become the real cook I've always wanted to be. Is she serious? I owe you one, Bjorn. Please take this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. set things on fire. Everything. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh, it's a lighter. Uh, I can see that. Why are you giving me this? I found it in front of my door. It may belong to the men belong to the men from the fight last night. Well, you're not gonna tell me about that until I gave you a book. I know, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I the same reaction. I was like, really? Like my apartment was broken into. You're not gonna give me this important information. Like, oh, you want a book first. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded so interesting earlier, so I figured I'd give it to you. Good thinking. What do you know? Something's written on the lighter. For Hector, my friend and partner, and underneath is an address. Dumont LLC, 15, Rue des Ornis, Paris. I better check it out. New location unlocked. Oh, yeah, yo. Yo, are you okay? Uh, sorry, just lost in thought. All right, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, sure. Boogie. Oh, I haven't tried this, but you can try to take the elevator. Oh yeah, now we're, we're doing it. Now let me use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. Ah! 
Because he's just like, open it up and not realize there's no elevator car. Yeah, right? Better read the signs. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, fantastic. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. I think, oh, Talking about like, the light switch? Yeah. So it doesn't do anything other than turn on and off the lights. But if you turn it on and off enough times, you get an achievement for, oh, that's fun. Let's make sure there's nothing. Nah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> this never gets old. <laughs> oh my God. All right, yeah, it's cool. Wait, wait, wait. We're, we're going to stop doing that right now. <laughs> So now I have a couple of options. Yeah, so, and, and this is, I think, where the game starts to really get yeah. interesting because now we have all these different locations. We have all these kind of like different components that are related to each other in some way. And each chapter is its own like complete package, right? Like yeah. none of the puzzles migrate next to the next chapter other than some of the items that you just have. Right. Um, but... Yeah, yeah. So now we can explore all these other locations. We can go to Thonin Antique, which is his antique, his, his shop. antique shop. We can go to the police department and talk well, we to, can... you know, them about everything that was stolen. And we can go to the... To Moulin LLC. Yeah, and that's the address that we got from the lighter. Yeah. Um, and that's where we think that the, the dude that... Could be. Yeah. Um, so we are... Yeah. I think we're about at time. So let's yeah. go to... D Dumoulin LLC and end this episode on a on a on a big bang. Let's let's do it. That's where I wanted to go. This is the address which was on the lighter. Let's enter and see if I can get some information on Hector. So, go ahead and open uh, your inventory and uh, grab that lighter and uh, go ahead and put that lighter on that box full of wine. <laughs> should I? Mm, yeah, that should be fun to see. Hey, what do you got in your hands? Just a lighter, see? So I light it up and then... Whoa, wait, stop that, stop that! It's full of alcohol, you dumb! You just die, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Here lies Bjorn. Oh, I love playing with fire. <laughs> <laughs> Here lies Bjorn, Thonin who died in the nuclear plant accident that ravaged half of Paris. <laughs> uh, and that's that's Demetrios, the big cynical adventure. So that's I think that's all we're going to play for this. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll put it in the voting system. Yeah, if I you mean, guys, if you want to see more. Yeah, if you guys want us to play more, we will happily play more. We figure that this gives at least a decent enough taste so that you guys can, like, get a sense of what this yeah, game is. Yeah, you know, um, um, I enjoyed what I saw of it. I would definitely be interested to, like, on my own time, if we don't end up, you know, getting votes on it, just check it out, because it's... It's it's fun. It's like, fun, you know? I you, Honestly, the other day when I was playing through this, I, I played through chapters one and two and part way through three. Yeah. And, like, th this is not a short game. Like, it's actually a lot longer than I expected. Right. I think it's about six chapters. Oh, wow. Um, and things just keep getting crazier and crazier as you go on. Yeah, as expected. Fun. I think it should be fun to see how Bjorn just kind of deals with everything. Because <laughs> yeah. he's such an affable fool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, he's so foolish, but so innocent and so strange. All just kind of wrapped in the one. And, and I think, like, as far as point-and-click adventures go, this doesn't really offer anything that's dramatically different. No, no. Um, I'm, I'm glad, though, that, like, the UI is pretty good for it. Mm -hmm. Like, I was able to just... I thought I had to click on the batteries, then click yeah. on the... Play. I was able to just drag and drop. Yeah, the UI um, is intuitive. So, intuitive. Yeah. I, I think the game in general is, is well-designed. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think the main selling point is, is the humor. Oh, absolutely. And it was. There was some humorous things. Some of it's a little lowbrow, but I think that's kind of the fun. It, it's um, it's one of those things, though, that it's like, you know what you're getting in into I just by even looking at the trailer like, of the game. And you just hear the title, too, the big cynical adventure. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's not going to be taking, ooh, taking itself too crazy seriously yeah so i feel like if you're into that stuff then oh yeah it's, absolutely you'll you'll enjoy it because they stay true to the theme <laughs> absolutely yeah so um so question of the day i want to ask um i i guess we could talk about i guess like the humor right yeah like, i mean i think it's a, i think it's a big point of the game so maybe maybe the question is and i guess this is an interesting one since we play a lot of indie games but do you think that a game, especially an indie game, do you think it should kind of switch up the mechanics a lot and kind of like invent something new? Or do you think that 
you know, you can still just make a good game based on theme or tone or, or story, and, and that's okay. Like, do you think they should have done more with this game, or do you think that it's better that they stayed tried and true to what a classic point-and-click adventure is? I think that's a good question. So guys, please comment with it. We will get back to you and like the video. Um, and if you want to see us play more of this, it'll be in our little voting section, along with a couple other cool games. Yeah, which we're changing up the voting a little bit. I, I know last time we did a bunch of single episode playthroughs, we changed yeah. up what games were in the voting for each one. Um, how we're going to do it now is, for this whole recording session, because obviously we're going to be recording more than one game today, yep. um, we're going to use these same games and in, in each of those votes. And whatever you guys vote for across all of our playthroughs for this week, and whatever bleeds into the next is what he and I will play next in our next Absolutely. recording session. I like so, that. Yeah, I, I think it'll make a little bit more sense because obviously some of the other games that we've used in the voting system, like this is a single episode playthrough, but you know maybe one of the games that we put in the voting right. is best is not best as not. a single episode. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we will see you guys in the next game. Thanks for watching, everyone. Did I specify that the developer uh, sent us the game? Uh, you did not. I should specify that. The dev sent us the game. Cow, 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 cow. <laughs> thanks, guys. Or you, thanks. <laughs> you should just randomly insert that into the beginning. Uh, Cowcat let us give us this game for free. Thanks, Cowcat. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs>